In specular reflection, as we've already noted, we have a thin film on a surface. So I've already placed the accessory, which is called the Smart Sega, into the sample compartment of the thermoscientific Nicolay IS-50 FTIR. So it fits right into the sample compartment and I've got on it a gold mirror just as a simple background. For the sample, I'm gonna be using this piece of aluminum foil. Now on this bigger piece, it's a little easier to see. You can see on one side, it's very shiny. On the other side, it's kind of fogged over and that's gonna be my sample. So I've got a piece here I cut out of it where I have the shiny side and the slightly cloudy side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use the shiny side as my background for my signal. So I'm gonna put that on there and I'm just using that as kind of a weight to hold it down so that it flattens it somewhat. Now let's move over to the instrument. You can see here on the instrument that I've got it set up to use the Mercury Cadmium Telluride or MCT detector. I'm gonna be collecting the data fairly quickly at a moderate resolution of only four wave numbers, and I'm gonna collect 16 scans. So now I'm gonna go ahead and collect a background first. This is the background being collected off of the uncoated side of the Teflon foil. And then we'll flip the foil over, so I'll move over now. It's completed that task. So I'll turn over my foil, lay it down, and once again, weight it down so that it's nice and flat across that surface. I don't need to see the, the background, so I'm gonna delete that, and then I'm just gonna collect my sample. So now as it scans, you'll see it collect the sample. You can see the very smooth background and everything here. We're only collecting 16 scans. A lot of times when you're looking at these very thin films, you'll collect like 256 scans or something like that in order to get the signal noise good to see the very thin films. In this case, 16 is plenty good. This is a grazing angle accessory, so I'm picking off a lot of the thickness. Let's see if it can identify what it is. Now, I could do a baseline correction and try and, and work out if I can get it any cleaner, but let's just try it like it is. And it actually comes up to be a methyl phenyl siloxane type of coating, which is on there. Basically, it's on there to keep food from sticking to the aluminum foil. So, the, and the coating has to be thin enough so that when you wrap the food, the coating doesn't peel off. So it's a very thin, flexible coating that's basically for anti-stick purposes. So, in terms of the uh, experiment, the specular reflection experiment, that's all there is to it. You get the sample, place it on it, run it. Again, I'm using the MCT because it allows me to collect a high signal to noise in a big hurry. And then you're, you're good to go. The analysis should be very straightforward at that point. So that is specular reflection.